In this tutorial, we're going to talk about how you can use Zeit's Now service to create the serverless GraphQL stack of your dreams. And so we will be using Next.js for our front end server, which will give us SEO benefits. And it's just like a really nice environment to work with. So we'll be using that in the front end. And then on the back end, we'll be using an Apollo backend server that's using Prisma 2 uh, runtime engine to be able to run all the different queries and mutations that we need against a, a database. And so this provides a really good development environment uh, where we can run it all locally in Docker containers. And then once we're ready, we can deploy it up to uh, now. And so the first step that we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna go to the project and we're gonna wanna check out the progress using Git uh, of where we were in the previous blog post. And so, so in that post, we had already set up our front end and our back end server in Docker containers, and as well as a MySQL server and uh, a Prisma 2 UI. And so we, you can, and I would probably recommend starting from the beginning, uh, but you, you have the option and we're gonna kind of go through how you can check out a particular tag which is gonna be the starting place for this. So we can go to github.com slash captain chemist slash blog dash Prisma 2. And so then you can click the clone or download and we can kind of copy that HTTPS URL. So we wanna first do a git clone and so now we can navigate to the directory and we want to do a, a git fetch and git fetch tags. So this will fetch all the different branches and all the tags. So this then allows us to do a git checkout of the particular tag, which is now dash serverless dash start. It's going to give you some warning about a detached head position. Don't worry about it. If you just do a git checkout dash B, and then what your branch name will be, it will then just create a new branch right at that spot and you'll be good to go. And so we can even double check that this still works okay and everything's okay uh, in Git world by opening up Git crack and we can visually see that we have the branch that we expect and everything is, is behaving nicely. So now we can open up uh, our code editor using code space period. And so what we wanna do first is update our version of Next.js. And so previously we were using a Canary version, uh, but now that Next9 is out, you wanna make sure that we're, we're using that. So Next9 has TypeScript support built in, and so we should just uh, use that. So now we have to go to the, uh, the front end directory and we want to install Webpack. And so this is due to, I think, a bug that's with now right now, where when you deploy, it will say that it's missing Webpack. I, and so I don't think you actually should need it, but it's just like a better safe than sorry thing. You should just go ahead and install it as a dev dependency. And so now we can see that it's, it's there. Now we can remove the, our main block from the front end and from the, the root package.json. We weren't using these fields in either one and it's better just to remove it. So now we want to globally install now. So you can do npm install dash g uh, now and, and that will install the now npm package so that it's available from the command line. And a final thing we want to do is we want to navigate to our backend folder and we want to install Prisma 2 as a dev dependency. So in our Docker container, we were installing Prisma 2 globally, but in now uh, we have to have it as a dependency so that it will 
it will be available when we're doing the whole deployment process.